thing has real zippers or you couldn't possibly have pockets. I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you on that. But my favorite yeah. is the little um the little arm pocket on the oh, tune and crop. The tune and crop. Well, just, we are now live in both places. What? What's up, YouTube? We are doing a quick walkthrough tour demo of the hacker. You haven't missed much. Only all of our life secrets. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, we're here to talk about the hacker. It's kind of a favorite. It's kind of a, a it's on our champions collection for a good reason. It fits most people really well. It's stretchy. Mm -hmm. It's comfy. It's got nice pockets. It's a good everyday piece. Yeah. Really it's good. a, it's a great, um, first step into the Volante lifestyle. Cause it's, watch out. You will become addicted. Yeah. It's a, it's a good jacket to like toss on and just go anywhere that you need to go because yeah. it's like just dressy enough where being in a more formal environment is is nice but yeah. like it's also not so audacious like the shogun it isn't yeah that's right and you could just like go to the grocery store and not be like oh man i'm in this really big coat i mean i think going to the grocery store with your shogun is a mood and you should by all means take that i mean but it may not be an everyday mood yeah, yeah, as a cosplayer, I totally would because yeah. you know, attention. But <laughs> and, and most some people, that's not that's not their thing, and I yeah. I respect. That. I have like phases. I'm like, yes, today. On other days, I'm like, please don't look at me. I will wear my hat and sunglasses, and mm -hmm. would prefer to to fade into the background. So you know, some days you want days eyeliner, like wraiths and things like wraiths. <laughs> eyeliner, yep. Some days are eyeliner days, yep. And then some days are wearing my blue light blocking glasses when I'm not blocking any blue light because I just got it in the world we're being moved on ah. Instagram. be great if we could just like overshadow a little like rumble yes That's a little rumble. earthquake Ooh. I love some in the most recent strange new worlds episode or maybe the one that was last week's because I haven't seen the most recent one that came out I think it's coming out tonight or last night. I think it's tonight but some people are really convincing at the earth shake <laughs> little, kind of quake thing. Like the hula hoop. Other people look like they're like, what? And it's <laughs> dorky as fuck. Uh, oh, I like, I kind of like that there are some people who play it cool and others who are perhaps a just little, you hamming know, it up just little, hamming it up. Yeah. Just having a good old grand spacey time. Right. We welcome your questions at any point. Jeremiah, our beautiful MC. So I, I don't have any questions just yet, but I do have some we'll be here. Oh. Somebody said, um, somebody said they like how you can't fit your jacket. Right? It's almost like we planned it out or something. We kind of thought maybe we should, no, we didn't, we didn't plan it out, but we, um, we like these colors. Somebody said the long black virginal gets people pulling girlfriends and children away. <laughs> <Yes>. So. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. Well. Um, hide your kids, hide your class. <laughs> and then somebody also said they, they like wearing their Volante coats to the grocery store. Uh, they get looks from little grannies in the produce department. Yes, but like yes. it's a positive thing. That is a positive thing. thing. Grannies need their eyes opened sometimes as well. Mm hmm Yes. Uh, it is. Never too late. Life is a stage, right? Sometimes. Sometimes more than other times. But... What, uh, what colors are we restocking this time? Great question. This is the mercenary color. And this is the obsidian. Dun, dun, dun. And we also have the ever pretty Oleon Blue, which is based on a Assassin's Creed character design color. Oh. But it's also just a really classy, basic, regular set of colors that people should wear together. It's like, it's, I always. It's like wearing a brown belt like a, with blue jeans. Yeah, I like to tell people that it's like a cooler jean jacket. Yeah. Because, you know, jean jackets are kind of sometimes fashion taboo. Bigger quake is happening. <laughs> For people on YouTube, you might not be understanding. You won't know. But, uh... but we have a phone and a camera. Yeah, do you want to tell people about our, our, so our high -tech. space adjustment that we made? Yes, we have okay. moved into the warehouse. It is a glamorous location, but it has much better sound absorption because there are so many jackets in here that uh, we don't sound quite as echoey. Yep. I did have to open the doors because the Wi-Fi signal is not good with the doors. <laughs> oh, oh. We might want to <laughs> hardwire <laughs> that. Yeah. But all good. Um, It's a Thursday. It is. We just launched this restock today. It looks like it's already sold out. A couple of women's cuts and colors. That was um, awesome. Yes. Because we make 
less in women's than men, so uh, that that's exciting. Um, we also recently launched the AV4, which is also sold out in a couple of cuts and sizes, so we really appreciate those of you who ordered one of those. Thank you. Um, it is always exciting to be received well, or to to, re to put out a product that is received well. Mm -hmm. um, so, now if we're have... thinking about one of those, don't wait. So we do have um, some differences with our men's yes. hackers this this run time yeah. around. Um, if we wanted to yes. grab that bad boy and reintroduce him. So on the, the women's hacker, um, it's... Marks are shifting over oh, there. Oh, shifting, yeah, yeah. shifting a little bit. Um, on the women's hackers, it's pretty much the same thing. You have the accent uh, pieces right on the, the sleeves here and on the back. Kind of gives you that little shade of color. On the men's hackers, this run around, that top is the same. Um, and you still have that blaze of color on the sleeve. This was our mistake, but once it was made, we didn't correct it. Mm -hmm. We were like, yep, that still looks good. We're going to run with that. Yep. So um, kind of think we kind of are thinking of it as a limited batch of these. Um, we've taken down a lot of the men's hackers that were up so that it's not confusing. The ones on the product page will not have the back contrast color. Yep. So anything that you order from now into the future are all going to be with that solid back. And if you want that contrasting back, you can send us an email. We will also be taking some of those to events. There aren't a ton of them left anyway. Yep. Excuse me. There aren't a ton of them left anyway, so um, you're welcome to send an email. We'd be happy to look it up. Mm -hmm. as we're able how was awesome y'all were there this weekend yeah it was actually it's pretty cool um it's my first time going to dc so oh. that was an experience um a very different crowd um yeah yeah uh we went in june so there's a lot of like which is great for me what does that mean oh, oh it's yes thank you yeah. The, the so washington dc is i was like people were more... bougie oh yes they were bougie in a particular <laughs> yeah um so that was a lot of fun just kind of walking around a lot of scooters a lot of scooters so many electric scooters Dear like god why terrifying i'm uh, it's really big like everything it's, i'm used to boston and new york yeah um and those are huge cities but everything's like squeezed into these itty bitty little well, yeah, corridors aisles, yeah. of living and then in washington dc everything's like massive like each block is just like in both directions <laughs> and so i guess you know just walking around a mile in washington dc is so different from a mile in boston yeah or new york you get like so many more shops and things in mm -hmm. in those cities and it's less there's less pushing and shoving yeah you think well that I... little narrow but... dodges yeah the first time i was ever in georgia i was like the sidewalks they were enormous <laughs> like is it because the people are paranormal? No. Okay. It's yeah. nobody actually walks on them. They're just like, just yeah. like that. They're like a experience. full car with what? Mm -hmm. Not everywhere, but in many places in downtown Atlanta, I was I was baffled. Yeah, we found some really good food. Excellent. As well, we were always. Um, I always food tourist when I. Oh yeah, it's, it's a big part of the big part of the travel. We found a place called um, Nerds and Nibblers, which was literally around the corner from us. Um, not sure but what where did they, serve? they had like quinoa bowls okay. and like healthy. Nothing to do with nerds. I, we were trying to figure out where the nerd part came in. <laughs> like there wasn't really any decor or any like themed drinks or foods. Weird. So it was very delicious. We had it for breakfast, but I'm cool. like, yeah, not, not entirely sure. Yeah. Yeah. Still good though. Is um. Is there a product that we have with both a men's and women's cut that sells better in the women's than it does in the men's? Or yes. It... Yeah. The after image vest. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, there are others, but it's usually the designs that were like first a women's cut and then a men's cut was made. Mm -hmm. So when we design specifically for women, it seems to kind of translate better. It's the short, the short version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool question. I'd say the Star Treks probably are pretty similar. Yes, yeah, pretty balanced. Yeah. Pretty balanced, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some things that we translate from a men's cut into a women's cut, they don't do as well. But the, the all the Star Trek ones are pretty. Yeah. Right on in there. Yep. 
Yep. Do you have questions about the hacker? Probably you don't because it's not a brand new design, but it is. Uh, somebody asked what's good, probably to uh, what's good, homies. Probably to people on the stream, but to uh, indeed. Also to you too, I guess. What What is good today, Key? The weather is fantastic. <gasps> This year, no, you don't, you guys don't understand. So in uh, the Northeast area, you generally get like frigid, frigid winter and then like two days of spring and then the rest of the time it's just humid in summer. Yeah. Like, you know, we are having a decent normal weather, spring, spring, kind of early summer. Like 60s and 70s. Yeah. So it's so exciting and it rained this morning but then it stopped raining and it sounds really sunny so it's like it's very very exciting yeah you it's one of those you have to be here to, to mm. appreciate it my cucumber plant has like doubled in size in the last week oh. it's like it's starting to really get serious are those the, the cucumbers with the like the little spikies all over it yes they kind of hurt they do this, this the whole plant kind of hurts they have these little spines like if you ever pick strawberries and you have like weird itchy you know because they have these tiny to get into your skin and make you crazy. Mm -hmm. Garden. Woo! A gardening aside, gardening and sewing, yep. we are furiously QCing the operator system, which is exciting. I feel like that is good. It is on progress, on track. The progress is on the right place. The progress is happening. Um, <laughs> and uh, we have some really, uh, the people who are doing it are really nice. Um, so that's good. We're going to have them here for our Friday for our Friday ritual, uh, even though it's Thursday. Don't tell anyone. Um, and yeah, so looking forward to hanging out with them a little and getting to know them a bit. Mm -hmm. So cons are coming up in the near future. Not, not, no more for this month? Correct. Right. I think our next one is hedges right just over the line into July. So July kind of jump starts like the, the bulk of the con season um so we're heading off to fan expo denver first um which is gonna be very exciting i think it's my first before? uh no and also i think drink it's... a lot of water oh okay good to know there's just some there's some adjustment i thought so it's in colorado which i thought was always cold oh and it's the it's the it's the altitude adjustment you need to be careful of and you will be really drunk after one beverage which is also a bit scary Nice. So there are really good hangover cures that you should just have as part of your getting to be to be in Denver and being at a higher altitude thing. But good yeah. to know. Send your recommendations. I'm sure people out there have good hangover cures that also work for altitude. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like electrolytes and shitloads of water. I I will take it because depending on the day, I can really cruise through or just like hit <laughs> collapse. So. Yeah. Um, after that, I think we have a week off and then we're hitting Kineticon, which is a local convention. And then from there, Brian is heading out to San Diego and then that sort of like kickstarts the entire. We haven't decided if David or I will go to San Diego. One of us will be there, but we have not figured out whom. Yeah. That is, that's on my list to do soon. Figure that out. So yeah, the, the full list is on our website, um, on Always the a good call. page. Yes. Oh, we just made a sheet. So if you are in one of those cities and you would like to work with us at a show, you do not need to be an expert at everything Volante to be really good at working at our booth. We are just tweaking the sheet, but it will go up on yep. our website probably next week. And we would love for you to submit a, hi, I'd like to work at dot, dot, dot show. Yeah, it's just a little West. Google Forms. It takes like maybe five to ten minutes to fill out. Just basic information stuff. Um, Who are you? Definitely not a serial killer. Things like that. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you can check off whichever conventions you're closest to and would be interested in working with us. And then you know, we run, do a little interview over the phone, make sure that, you know, you're cool. And can carry on a conversation. Yep. That's a key. That's a key element of working at a booth. Yep. But, you know, most people can do that. So. It's not like a hard test. I wouldn't get too nervous. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. <laughs> it's chill. It's chill. All right, we don't have any more questions. So cool. unless there's anything else we'd like to talk about today. So earlier, if you guys are following us on our Instagram, oh. um, if you're not, tisk tisk, do that right now. But, ugh, sorry, I just kind of turned my back. An elegant sound. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So we posted a little bit earlier a clip Quiz. of um, our some fabric being cut because it's really, really cool when you get to see like these thick, chunky layers of fabric getting cut out on the cuirass. Um, and I asked you guys um, what you thought it was going to be for. Um, hint, it's a restock. Uh, Hiroshi, Hiroshi Art and More uh, said Mortal Kombat, which... No. Not a restock, but a cool a cool guess. But it'd be really cool if we did like the Shogun in those colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something to consider. Um, Monet Exchange did totally did a Mortal Kombat outfit in I think last week's episode. Of All Stars, all whatever. I haven't seen I haven't watched any I'm obsessed, so. any part of that show yet, so yeah. I definitely I gotta go find that. The All Stars all what winners, which I think is a terrible title, but whatever. The all they should have been like superstars or something. But anyway. They is actually really, really fun because everyone is fun. Like, That's every cool. single member of the cast is, is fun. So, oh. unlike some of the more recent seasons of, Dra of Drag Race, which are mixed back. Some wonderful people and some, like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um... Sir, Sir, Val I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about just, his just names. Go for um, it. Sir, Sir Valak um, said Nero. Uh, which is also close. It uses um, the same type of fabric, um, but I think that is not yet. It's not that, not but th that's a good guess. A very good guess. Um, Echo Charlie 419 said, yes, please, which I'm uh, <laughs> glad about the enthusiasm. Yeah, yes, um, please. Sure. Yeah, awesome. Which part? The fabric? The <laughs> that's cute. Um, and then P Pidgeterson Williams. <laughs> It almost, I think one it more almost time, says one like, more time was what? P Pedgeterson, Pedgeterson William um, is our winner of the day. You get to win um, this thumbs up. It's the Rook. Da -na 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 -na. The rook. Da -na. And nobody else knows this except you if you happen to be here. So keep it a secret. It's, it's really, it's hot gossip. So what what I do have one last thing, and this is hot off the presses on the Discord server. Uh, this is from Haley. I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's not a mistake. Uh, I think Haley just told someone that we've sold the last women's AV4. Oh. We have no more of those left. Wow. So we did a tiny little run of AV4s in women's to be because we can, because we could, because we have a little bit of fabric left. We have a little bit of space in our setup and our schedule. And they're gone. Good to know they are gone. So now, if you're just finding out for the first time, I'm sorry, but you are too late. <laughs> but the best place to get these sort of intel things is on our Discord. So if you would like to be getting the hot new intel, you should be on our Discord. Mm -hmm. I believe we did, like, some kind of super awesome little, like, hey, everybody, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, it was really, like, okay, it was so like, would you like one of these? Email us. That was it. We've made, I mm -hmm. think, we're going to make nine. That's the max. It, it's been a whole two days since then, and... And people have bought all of this stuff. Yeah. But hopefully we will have more vests. So it is it's good it's a good sign for women's vests if like we get requests and stuff like that. There is another vest coming. Uh there are some other women's products coming this month. So be be ready. Be prepared. Uh rook vest confirmed. <laughs> Rook vest. Yes. Rook vest. <laughs> Can you imagine that'd be the hottest vest of all? Time? Oh god! Yeah. I mean, we do have a, a just waterproof like vest now. Just. <laughs> and next, we'll be making straight jackets with padded. <laughs> no, sorry. I saw. It's gone weird. I saw this one sweater, and I, this is the weird part. I saw it like at least three times when I was scrolling through like alt fashion TikTok. It's a, a, it's a hoodie. But the sleeves are like floor length. They're like super duper long. But why? I'm like, I... but like eating things, writing in your I notebook. I struggle so much. I would just like. I think was, like even the like elfy, fairyish long sleeve. I don't like uh... fill in the word I'm looking for. Medieval looking sleeve things. I'm like those are pretty, but mine would be brown and coffee stained and. I'm super into like uh, Hanfu and stuff, which is the um, Chinese um historical robes and stuff cool. and their sleeves are really long and flowy so yeah that, that, so that i think happen. about that scene in spirited away where shihiro takes the little tie and she just yes. goes like and then ties up her sleeves i think that scene lives in my head too i don't know what that is it's about like that the satisfaction of it, it's the same it scratches the same itch as watching those ladies put makeup on mulan and they just yes. be like, a one, just do like a one perfect eyebrow 
the things that just like reality they take can't the boxes. do for me. Yeah, no, they're so unrealistic, but they're somehow really like. Although David sometimes puts things on and just ties them, and then they look really effortless. And I'm always like, why? Here I am trying to tuck in my shirt, trying to get my like things buttoned in the right direction. Not and fair. It's not fair. Yeah. He's really a fa fabric mancer. Real quick before we go, I am going to turn the chroma key off and, and pan around and give people a shot. Uh, of what we're really doing what here. We're really doing here. So, Our uh, super professional, super awesome studio setup. Extremely high-tech sound studio mm. for our... So let me, uh, little foam uh, wall things. Yes, with the cubes that stick out, or the triangles oh, that yeah, stick they, out. The little, so we've got like egg. Set up this is the here. TV that someone gave me for Christmas. My stepmother gave me for Christmas. You know, we're kind of like cob cobbling things together. We've mm -hmm. got the green screen with the talent. Questionably yeah, talented. talented. But We've got some days better than others. Oh, the boxes actually block all the view of everything. So. <laughs> and this so is the sorry. stuff that just came back from Con. Yep, and, and it's about to go back out. <laughs> the rest of the warehouse. Ew. So, so yeah. It's the magic. The magic, but the sound oh, is better, right? The sound is better. Yeah, some people were saying that the sound on the phone wasn't great because the phone was plugged. Oh. <laughs> so I had to like, we can't win for losing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well. We have very discerning customers, what can we say? Yeah. In many areas, we do quality exceptionally well. Really, those areas are like sewing and designing and taking mm -hmm. pictures of things. The green screen is fantastic quality. That's true, that's true. That is true. The green screen is... <laughs> but we're not nice. videographers, so maybe Jeremiah is the close, closest you, to videographer. When you turn it back on, like, it is a stark difference yeah. um, <laughs> between the green screen and what's actually there. Yeah, uh -huh. that seems true. Look up one question real quick. Uh, would you guys ever consider messing around with a faux fur or something like that? We uh, have considered messing around with faux fur. They said they feel like the Velocity geometric, like hard line style would do interesting stuff with like faux fur or faux yeah. materials. Mm -hmm. So the challenge with faux fur, that any costumer knows this, is that the hairs <laughs> go everywhere. The number of times I've sneezed fiber out of my nose. David like, made her. himself a pan like like fawn legs in his like and he wore and he, and he used those weird boots that make your leg a weird oh, shape. Oh yep the little digits. And, and this was when he was in our extra bedroom and we had <laughs> hair in our house our many roommated like housing situation for I have to say at least six months afterwards. <laughs> I think if we actually worked with Fofer we would have to like put plastic up, you know, when you like do construction. We would have to like put plastic up around the sewing station. Just like quarantine just to, like, our contain kids, the hair. The, so it's into their little. So hair that bubble. makes me cringe about faux fur. I like the idea. We could probably do a small staple faux fur option. Collar. But the long gloves. hairs are. Mm -hmm. Every customer who's worked with them knows cutting them is hard, sewing them is hard, cleaning them up is hard. Getting them out of your life is hard. Oh. Like glitter. It's like glitter, but it's itchier. I'm imagining it's everywhere. I'm imagining a full fur going through the curious. Uh. Well, the, the same person said that they keep wanting to customize their shogun with a white fur collar. I was like, oh, that <laughs> we, sounds pretty interesting. That sounds pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty neat, to be honest. I mean, so the Dragon Queen had like a little faux fur around. So we have. We have played with it, and, and we don't have a consistent source for faux fur, but it's not a bad idea. It's a, it's a cool idea. We can find something that's not too too much glitter. Yeah. Slash hair. Yeah, did y'all watch the uh, Zemo? Zemo. Uh, from the Winter Soldier, the show? No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the latest one. Um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Did you guys watch Yes, it? I did. He has, like, the largest fur coat on imaginable. Yes. Just, like, this big. Yes, oh, I know geez. what you mean. Was it one of the ones with those like raised shoulders that I wanted? Those, those are so the weirdest. Memes. There are some memes out there. He's just like walking around with like a bear on him. Yeah, constantly, yeah. and he always has this look on his face of just like fish fleas, and that's like his, his <laughs> perpetual. What's his look. name? How what's what's Baron his name? Zemo? Z e m o. Oh no, I know the character's name, but the actor's name is. Uh, he always plays bad guys, German bad guys. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He plays German bad guys. He plays a few nice guys in his career, but anyway, not important. If you know his name, you're welcome to drop it in the comments. If not, there are a couple, we will live without it. A couple of actors. Thank you. Uh, That's right. 
Well, thank you for joining us this Thursday. This has been a fun little look at the hacker and what's cooking behind the scenes at Volante Design. Yeah.